Are you in Zoom and maybe you're wondering how you can hide your self view, meaning you can hide your own video feed from yourself? Well, I'm going to break down how you do it and a little pro tip about why you should if you're not already doing it and save yourself some brain power in your next meeting or virtual event. Well, before I jump into it, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do want to remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm also the co-host of the Better Events podcast with fellow event pro Mary Davidson. We drop episodes anywhere you listen to podcasts every single Wednesday, and they're just a little bit more in-depth into some of these topics that I cover here on YouTube, talking all about event planning, event production, running your own business, and we also host some guests every so often on the podcast so you can hear from other experts about different event topics. So listen wherever you listen to podcasts. I can't take credit for this tip that I'm about to tell you about self-view because I first learned it from my therapist that I started going to during COVID and I started seeing her virtually and she made the point to show me on the platform that I use for those appointments that I should, here's how to turn off your self-view, meaning how to turn off your own picture of what you're seeing. And the her point was our brains are not actually used to having to process our own faces and reactions when we're having a conversation with someone, which is true. I mean, if you've ever been sitting across from someone who's wearing those reflective sunglasses and you're seeing your face while you're talking to them, it can be very distracting. And that is really what Zoom is. And a lot of that Zoom fatigue we feel, whether you actually use Zoom or Google Meets or Teams or any other video conferencing thing, you're going to feel that fatigue. And it's just something that I, I implemented in our appointments and I started to realize that I felt so much better. Like I wasn't as drained as I was. And so I started doing it in Zoom. You also are able to do this in Google Meets and you're just turning your camera off for yourself, meaning you just don't see the what you're projecting out to everybody. And it's made such a difference. So let me show you how to do it in Zoom. So here we are in Zoom. If you've watched my Zoom videos, Zoomception, there's two of me. It's lovely. And what the way you're going to do this in Zoom is that you need to go down to your view option. So how you're going to do it in Zoom here is in your Zoom meeting when you join, uh, I feel like Zoom does remember this. So I only had to change it when I've like turned it on or off, but usually it remembers to hide it. So what you're going to go up to the upper right hand corner where you see view, click view, and then you're going to go down to hide self view. Now, when you click this, you're going to see this little pop up self view enabled until there is another video to display. So meaning when I am the one person in this meeting, I'm going to still see myself when I'm the only person in the room. So the cool thing here is you are going to see yourself until someone else joins the meeting. And so let me pull in my dummy device, which I just use my phone for entering. Give me one second and you're going to see me disappear. Boom. And so what you're seeing on the screen here, you can still see me here in the little corner, but you're now also seeing me here on my phone. And look at this. My window of what I look like is disappeared. Now, at any time, you can go up to view and you can click show self view. And look, there you can see yourself again. I've had to do this multiple times when I am taking a photo, like a group photo when I do virtual meetings. Sometimes I want to take a team photo. I do a book club virtually. And I'll have to remember to turn my self view on because I've taken a photo before with me hidden. But it's that simple. And it doesn't do anything for what my attendees see or my co-meters or anything. It's just for me. So I am not looking. Like right now, I'm very distracted seeing what I look like. (laughs) and I'm trying to talk. So that is how you hide self-view and you can show your self-view. I have just found once you hit it once, Zoom usually remembers your settings, which is awesome. And so consider hiding your self-view. Google Meets lets you do this too. If you go down to the three, to your actual like video window, it usually has three dots. You click, it says minimize, and it will have a pop-up that says you're still sending your video to the chat, but it will actually minimize your own video, which is awesome. And Again, I've just felt the brain drain is just so much nicer. And I'm pretty sure there's something like this in Teams. Please comment below. I'm not a regular Teams user. I use it for a couple clients, but I'm just not as well versed. So if you know this for sure can do it, please share your comments so everyone can get a little less Zoom fatigue and know how to hide their self-view on their next video call. That's all I have for you folks. I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do want to thank you for watching I want to thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.